Have you always wanted to own a food truck? Whether you actually are working in the food truck or you just come by from time to time to the food truck and an employee is managing it. On Vetted Biz, we have over 40 food truck focused franchises, or at least they have a food truck option on our website. So check that out, but let's go through a few today. First up, Wetzel's Pretzels, 350 locations in the US. Over the last few years, they've kind of struggled opening up about as many locations as they're closing. They do have a food truck option that if you are interested in the pretzel space, you can have a look at. Then you have Badass Coffee Company Hawaii, 21 franchise locations. They offer a standalone drive through franchise as well as a mobile food truck franchise option. In 1989, on the big island of Hawaii, Badass Coffee of Hawaii was founded with the aim of introducing Hawaii-grown coffee to people across the world. In 1995, BJ Belenzic fell in love with the brand and its playful attitude and began franchising the Badass Coffee stores on the mainland US. Today, Badass Coffee of Hawaii serves premium Hawaiian and other top international coffees, blended drinks, teas, food, and 24 stores in the US, US Virgin Islands, as well as Japan, 21 franchise locations. It's a brand to consider if you're looking at the food truck options available. Last, you have Kona Ice. Kona Ice, the franchise fee is not bad. $6,400 inventory pack, truck, Another 139,000 total investment, $160,000. We did a video on them about 10 months ago. I mentioned the high transfer rate, but I only get good positive feedback from the franchisees, emails, some people left comments. Franchisees seem super happy with very limited failures and the transfers all make sense based on everything I've heard. Keep reaching out to us, share the love. If you love a brand and you're a franchisee of the brand, let us know so you can let the world know and that people make the right decision on what franchise they invest in. Really high approvals on Franchise Business Review, constantly top ranked on that site. Franchisees seem super happy with the Kona Ice brand. Reading the comments of one actual franchisee of Kona Ice, we truly do only pay a royalty. There's 0% taken from us off the sales. The transfer rate you talk about doesn't account for tons of movement between us franchisees and selling equipment to each other. Most of the time it's because someone is retiring and downsizing their business and instead of having five trucks, maybe they wanna run with just two. Uh, doesn't mean failed, I'm sure it happens, but I've been in it for almost five years now and I only know of two franchisees who didn't make it in my five years. As far as revenue, it of course varies depending on someone's goal and how hard they work, but I'd say 80% of franchisees are pulling in $110,000 plus per year per truck, and I do more than that, and I'm in Michigan, so I only run five to six months during the year. And we sell shaved ice, not ice cream. There are some who sell ice cream in addition to shaved ice, but it's an incredibly small percentage of those that do. So there you have it, three food truck options. I guess technically uh, Kona Ice is actually a shaved ice truck, uh, but I wanted to include that on the list for your consideration. I hope you found this useful. If you did, subscribe to our channel. If you have any franchises, especially in the food truck space you want us to review, leave a comment on this YouTube video, or if you're listening over podcast, shoot me an email at patrick at vettedbiz.com.